Hi, I'm Mike, sitting down again with uh, Ryan Briones and Ethan Gunderson. Uh, the, these guys created Gathers Us. It's a website for managing uh, uh, user group information, or user group events, and also are the founders of the Chicago DB uh, user group. Um, thanks, Ryan and Ethan, for sitting down again. <laughs> we had a little snafu, technical snafu beforehand. But uh, uh, so what we discussed earlier is that Gathers Us had a, a pretty interesting origin, that it was based off of a need that you had uh, in creating Chicago DB. Can you describe a little bit about some of the inception of, of Gathers Us and, and what led that is? I mean, it's used for several user groups. I've used it myself, and, um, and I know GeekFest uses it. it it's, and it's a great success, and you get a lot of signups. I mean, well over 100 each week. Yep. Um, but uh, how did how did Gathers Us come about out of Chicago DB? Well, there were two major things that happened. One, uh, we were too cheap to use a tool that costs money. There's a couple of them out there. A big one, um, um, which was uh, really kind of the biggest impetus for us to create our own. Um, especially when we kind of like had this idea for the group, but we didn't know how it was going to, you know, if it was going to be successful or not, we didn't want to pay money for something that was just going to be, uh, that wasn't going to like have legs and go on. Um, kind of the second thing though, a, a personal gripe of mine is that um, a lot of other meeting websites, uh, in order to attend an event, um, they force you to um, uh, sign up and actually have an account with their mm -hmm. site before you can attend that event. And so it was another big like design goal with Gathers Us was to make it uh, dead simple to both create an event and attend an event. Only the information you need to provide is your first name, last name, and email, and then um, you know you can attend an event. Do you ever have any problem with spam? I mean, because it's so easy to get in there. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, I mean, I know you have a captcha, but that—that's the reason. Okay. Why. Yeah. Okay, and has that actually been effective? And it hasn't happened since uh, we introduced it. Oh, good. So. Um, but. Like you said, it was uh, born out of a need when you were creating uh, Chicago DB. Um, so, question I asked earlier was, what what database did you end up using? I'm mean, considering that you're a, a database group, and uh, that would be kind of a critical question. What database is Gathers Us built on? Uh, so, the database or the database we use is Mongo, um, mm -hmm. for no particular reason whatsoever. Yes. Um, other function. than I won an argument. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and uh, and s some of the, the things that you learned in creating Gathers Us were those things that you were able to kind of bring back into uh, the meeting. So you start off, you want to have a, a user group about databases and about learning database technologies. So you create a site to support that. You pick the database and you know, did you learn anything about and, and were you able to bring that back into what you were sharing with the group? Um, yeah, we never did anything with the group on it. Um, I did give two talks at Mongo conferences about the uh, data strategies that we used for storing our data. Because at the time, which was probably the biggest pain point using Mongo, is that almost none of that was documented. Um, everyone was using their own. Yeah. Um, so it's, you were on the bleeding edge. Yeah. A bit there, so, and that's the thing about being on the bleeding edge is you bleed. It's painful. <laughs> uh, I, so, going into the group, um, you know, you, you founded the group about you said about two years ago, and uh, two or three. Yeah. Yeah. And what kind of format did you follow when you were doing actual meetings? What was the uh, typical structure of a meeting? Well, kind of. Um, uh, as illustrated of, uh, as uh, you know, the inception of Gathers Us is um, that was kind of our, our like the reason why we had to create a group like this is because you know we essentially decided on using Mongo kind of just out of a like it might as well have been flipping a coin yeah. or something mm -hmm. like that you know we had no idea why Mongo would be better for, than any other database mm -hmm. and so what our goals were were to uh, design a group that was focused around like this deep learning of you know, what makes a particular database uh, better than another. Mm -hmm. um, understand, like, the core of that um, so that we can apply that to our normal day-to-day -day stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of good talent in Chicago, a lot of people that have had 
uh, experience both with uh, modern um, non-relational databases and um, and people that have a lot of experience uh, building um, applications um, on relational databases as well. So we figured that uh, in a selfish way we could kind of leech off of the uh, knowledge that's here in Chicago and kind of um, take that to the next level. So we did that in two different ways. Uh, the format of the group was kind of designed around that. Uh, like every user group, we had a, a portion of the group that's kind of like a face forward uh, presentation style um, uh, part where someone would talk about technology or something like that. Um, but to start out the night, we would uh, do um, we would read these database white papers um, that would kind of give us some kind of deep knowledge about uh, a particular technology like uh, Dynamo or Big Table mm -hmm. or uh, something like that, um, and uh, kind of maybe set the stage for what we were going to talk about later that day. Okay. And anything really interesting in that you you learned from reading these white papers yourself, but, or anything that was kind of surprising about that? Um. What did I say earlier? Um, <laughs> um, so the biggest thing for me was the realization that basically no no new ideas have come out of database theory in the last thirty five years. Yeah. So things like the Dynamo paper are just a group of ideas presented slightly differently, um, but they're all thirty five years old. Yeah, and then you also mentioned something about the the, the specificity of, of some of the original um, or the modern NoSQL implementations came out of really specific concerns, like the Dynamo being the shopping right. cart uh, backend from Amazon. Now it's got millions of things bolted onto it. Uh, right, you have, you have full databases that are built around that, yeah. that paper, uh, both from Amazon and from competition. And, uh, you know, looking at, uh, um, at the, trying to cover these technical white papers, it's, it's, it's a very, large undertaking even just when you're trying to understand yourself and, and grab, uh, get your hands around these white papers. Getting people to read these papers month to month, did, is that uh, something that was easy to do? Did you have lots of people saying, yes, I'm going to read this paper and give an hour-long presentation on, on its contents, or was that uh, a challenge? Uh, it was a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were, most of the time people would not read the paper, and uh, kind of the, one of the things we wanted to do is, you know, it was it would be rough for us to be the ones that um, kind of like led the discussion every month and be the only one, the only voices in the group. So we tried to get people to volunteer to do it. We had a couple of good core um, uh, members that would kind of step up from time to time to do that, but um, uh, essentially. Uh, trying to get people to volunteer um, to lead the discussion on um, on a particular paper was uh, rough. Yeah, and kind of you joked earlier that it's maybe you don't necessarily even understand it all yourself and then all of a sudden you're trying to present it to a bunch of other people. Which is probably why we had a hard time getting people to volunteer. Yeah, yeah. Like no one wants to try to lead a discussion about a topic that they don't truly understand. Yeah. And a lot of those white papers are hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's yeah, they're very they're very technical. Written a yes. long time ago and very ivory towerish. Um, Lots of math. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of math. <laughs> and, but that's interesting. I, I, the oh yeah. Do you have a meeting? We're gonna get chicken with that. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. Uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, you know the papers you know you said they were very tough and the people would. Be trying to, uh, to to come in and uh, and present on these papers. Uh, have you looked at any other formats like bringing in vendors or anything? Was there any anything you learned trying to maybe reach out to a Mongo company or a uh, like and, and get them to come in? Have you, did you do anything like that? Yep. Uh, we've had people from Tengen. Um, I don't think we've had anyone from Basho. Membase. Membase. The, the issue that we've kind of had with bringing vendors in is that they're more or less interested in like converting you to use their database, right. uh, which is usually leads to more of like a sales pitchy kind of presentation instead of like a low level technical talk, mm -hmm. right? Like 
it's really hard to get a vendor to tell you the trade-offs that you're making. Right. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah it might be better to use <laughs> yeah. Mongo if you're trying to do X, Y, Z. Um, but we're from React. Yeah, it's like yeah. Mm, no. Yeah. That's that's totally not in their best interest to right. do that. But um, okay, in what is the future? Right? Do you have uh, plans for for reviving the group, or how is how is how uh, going forward into the future of uh, Chicago DB? I don't. It hasn't been totally decided yet what will happen. Um, the interest in the group has died out a little bit, and I think that's mostly due to like specialized user groups forming. Mm -hmm. Like we have a React, Hadoop, right? basically any relatively still popular NoSQL database has its own user group in Chicago now. Right. Um, but what I, what I, even though it was really difficult to do, the white papers are still uh, my favorite part about the group. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've been tossed around the idea of doing a general computer science white paper user group. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but, but so you could see the same kind of fracturing. So I could understand that would be a kind of frustrating is, uh, whereas you started with trying to understand the core tenets that could be applied to all, any of those database systems, now people have kind of segregated themselves by their platform, right? And that's, I could see that might be kind of frustrating, or do uh, you think it's a good thing, or? I don't mind it. Yeah. Um, like Ryan said, the, the whole purpose of the group was so that we could learn, and I learned. Uh, so <laughs> that's all I care so about. Goal, <laughs> so goal achieved, yeah. goal achieved. And, and have something very cool out of it. I gather it's very popular, so. Well, um, Thank you very much for sitting down, Ryan. I don't want to keep you guys from your chicken. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks.